Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will take you through heat conduction through a composite wall in heat transfer. Let's tackle this question. A reactor's wall 320 mm thick is made up of an inner layer of fire brick of thermal conductivity K equals 0.84 watts per meter per degree Celsius covered with a layer of insulation of thermal conductivity K equals 0.16 watts per meter per degree Celsius. The reactor operates at a temperature of 1325 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. 1. Determine the thickness of fire brick and insulation which gives minimum heat loss. 2. Calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. If the calculated heat loss is not acceptable, then state whether addition of another layer of insulation would provide a satisfactory solution. Solution. Here is a diagrammatic view. Given. Temperature T1 equals 1325 degrees Celsius. Temperature T2 equals 1200 degrees Celsius. Temperature T3 equals 25 degrees Celsius. Thickness LA plus LB equals 0.32 meters. Thermal conductivity Ka equals 0.84 watts per meter per degree Celsius. Thermal conductivity Kb equals 0.16 watts per meter per degree Celsius. 1. Finding the thickness of fire brick layer LA. Considering the first two quantities, we have Substituting and solving. Thickness LA equals 114.6 millimeters. Finding the thickness of insulation layer LB. Which equals 205.4 millimeters. 2. Finding the heat loss per unit area. Which equals 916.23 watts per square meter. If another layer of insulating material is added, the heat loss from the wall will reduce, consequently the temperature drop across the fire brick lining will drop and the interface temperature T2 will rise. As the interface temperature is already fixed. Therefore, a satisfactory solution will not be available by adding layer of insulation.